Hi, this is Olivia. Today, um, we'll do a mid-month review of three investment accounts. We'll also do a quick lecture about why you might not have beaten the stock market. Here's a mid-November summary um, from November 1st to November 24th. Um, my long-term account, number one, had a return rate of 13.9%. Um, my investment account number two had a return rate of 4.3% and my investment account number three had a return rate of 28%. While um, SPY, as you can see from this chart, has a return rate of 8.87% and QQQ had a return rate of 11%. So here is a screenshot of my investment account number one, um, long-term investing. As you can see here, the return um, from November 1st to November 25th was about 14%. Um, and here's the account balance or value. My investment account number two had a return rate of 4.33% and the holdings um, BIL with 50% capital and Costco with 50% capital. And here's a screenshot of the account. And my third investment account, number three, um, short term using a short term trading strategy. Um, as you can see, this account is mainly composed of the stock UP, UPRO. Um, in November, um, a flagship trading strategy gave a buy signal on UPRO, and the return rate from November 1st to November 25th was 28%, from $1,000 to $1,279. Okay, now let's continue on to a small lecture about why you didn't beat the market or why you might not have beaten the market. Um, so here's a daily trading chart or index of trading days in 2023. Um, as you can see here, the squares indicate the days with the largest daily returns if you would in invested or like you traded in SPY. Um, and, and the chart below shows um, like it indicates um, the return, the daily returns for each day. As you can see here, um, the red boxes indicate the days with the largest daily returns. As you can see here, there's um, 227 total trading days in 2023. If you were always on the market throughout 2000, 2023, you would have had a return of 20.4%. But if you missed the best seven days of investing, um, your return would have only been 5.2%. Here's some other charts. These indicate the days with the largest daily returns um, throughout the total trading days for SPY or like the four 10 years. Um, as you can see here, the total trading days of the 10 years were 2,494 days. If you were always on the market, you would have had a return of nearly 200%. Of nearly 200%. Um, but if you'd missed the best 10 days, your return would have only been about 65.5%. And you might be asking now, if I miss the best 10 days, what if I miss the worst 10 days? Um, but there's a really common effect called the disposition effect um, in investors and traders. Um, so the disposition effect refers to a prevalent irration, irrational behavior among investors. Um, so basically, it's the tendency um, to sell assets or stocks that have increased in value while keeping assets that have dropped in value. And this can cause many investors, because again, this effect is pretty common um, to miss um, like the 
the best days of trading for some stocks um or to like sell some stocks too early or keep it, or keep some um um assets that will decrease further in value so overall this concludes um um this mid month um like review thank you for your time and see you